Hey Vinyl Geeks, it's me, Six Sad Cat Lady, back with a haul, vinyl and cassettes. It's been so long since I've done a vinyl haul. It's probably been a year, like, I feel like I've said this the last few times I've done a vinyl haul, but uh, I just don't find a lot anymore. And if you watch my thrift store videos that I do on here, I think in the last one I, I explained how um, I just don't find um, as much stuff as I used to, especially in the beginning of my collecting. Uh, this was 2011 around there. I used to find a bunch of stuff, but now I feel like a lot more people are collecting and so they got hit to the thrift stores and all that stuff. Oh yeah, because that's I, I mostly just buy at thrift stores. I don't go to uh, record stores. I don't have anything against it. I just, I don't know why, but it's like very thrilling for me to like find stuff at the thrift store. I don't know. It's a thing. But with that being said, today most of the vinyl is from not a thrift store though. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started, shall we? So the first one I have, I'm so excited to show it and talk about it is Lana Del Rey's Norman fucking Rockwell. Am I gonna get demonetized for saying that? Hopefully YouTube's algorithm doesn't catch me saying the F word. So the older I get, I'm 35, um, I just do not like like new music. I don't know why, like I used to love like the top 40. I used to love like all kinds of new music and all that. But I think starting probably in the year 2013, that's when I started to not like like mainstream stuff. Uh, it just doesn't sound right to me. And there is actually a study that shows that your brain start, stops to like things at like age 30 or something. But anyway, where was I? <laughs> My point is that I was so happy when I heard Lana Del Rey's new album, Norman Fucking Rockwell. I liked everything on here. Oh my God, personal favorites are California, fuck it, I love you. I love the Do In Time cover she did. I That was my jam back in like 95 or 96 or whenever it came out. I remember I got the, the CD and I'm gonna post it here in case you don't know what the CD looks like, but I got the CD back in the day and my mom was like, she took it from me, she's like, what is this? I'm gonna show your dad when he comes home. I'm gonna make sure there's no dirty lyrics up in here. She speaks Spanish, she doesn't know. But anyway, good memories with Do In Time. I love Cinnamon Girl, the greatest. Um, Venice Bitch, like, the whole the whole freaking album's good, you guys. I'm I'm not joking. This woman just gifted me with new music, and I am so grateful. Hey, if you're enjoying this so far, give this video a thumbs up. Next one is also new, and um, actually, somebody gave this to me, and I've already thanked them and everything. But um, I used to have an Amazon wish list and I got this. I love Mariah Carey so much. Like, if she ran over my entire family, I would literally thank her. Like, I'm not joking. From start to finish is like, oh my god, queen of no filler, okay? She is. She does not know who filler is. She does not know her. Okay, okay vision, vision of love. Of love. Emotion. Emotion. Dream, Dream lover. Hero. hero. Fantasy. Fantasy. Once, we Once we date, date always be, be my baby. baby. Honey, Honey, which is my, my personal all-time all favorite. favorite. Oh my gosh, my all oh, heartbreaker. We belong, we belong together. together, don't forget, forget about, about us. Touch, touch my body, body. and there's like a few like others, others, but oh my oh god. god. Such an iconic release. I love this woman, this woman, hey. Oh my god, she deserves everything. Like, she can be a diva like all she wants. She has earned it. Okay. This is another one from my Amazon wishlist. I have already thanked them as well. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill by who is Lauren Hill, bitch. I can see the CD on my shelf right now. That CD, I, I, I'm not gonna turn this camera around, but that CD, it just reminds me of high school. It came out in 98, I believe, yeah, 98. This album, oh my God, it has, okay, these are just the singles that came off it, but X Factor, oh my God. So good. If I recall, D what's his name? Drake took the sample, desecrated it from X Factor, and did. I don't even. I heard like 10 seconds and I was like seizing. I was so mad. But anyway, X Factor, do walk that thing. Come on, you have to know that song. Everything is everything, you know. I mean, I love this album, so. But those are just the songs that you guys might recognize. God bless Lauren Hill and God bl bless the USA. <laughs> Okay, so on to an oldie. 
Last time when I went thrift shopping, I, uh, I filmed a video and I do like come thrift with me videos and I mentioned that I just got one record that day and this is the record. Fleetwood Max, forgot, <laughs> Seven Wonders. I had to get it because I get, I love anything Fleetwood Mac, like Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, Christine McVie, what's his name, Buckingham, Buck, whatever, I don't know, irrelevant, whatever. We're Team Stevie here. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want to start any beef in the freaking Mac community, Fleetwood Mac community, okay? Anyway, yeah, it's just the single, it has Seven Wonders, Dub, and Book of Miracles on the other side, uh, instrumental, Seven Wonders extended version. There we go. Oh my god. I'm gonna insert right now an Instagram story of when I found this record. You guys, so um, I'm at the thrift store and um, I'm used to seeing stuff like this, like Christian crap. Um, well, I just found the anthem of our generation, Ciara goodies, copping. So as I said, this is the anthem of our generation, you guys. Ciara goodies. One side is the uh, featuring P.T. Pablo, which is like P.T. Pablo. He's got so much friggin' flavor and spice. I don't know why on this side, but this is the this is the demonic side that we must not speak of. But this is goodies, and it says no rap on it, aka no PD Pablo. Who want this side needs to be burned. I want to slash this side so it's like unplayable and only the main one is available. This as well as the um, Fleetwood Mac one was a dollar. In case you guys, well, oh, actually, sorry, $1.99 there from Goodwill. Goodwill's atrocious, oh my god, atrocious price tags, but anyway. I love when I find the original tags, the price tags, and this is from 2009 from DVS Records, and it was $2.99. But I'm pretty sure nobody cares about price tags, so I'm just gonna move on. Another new one, you guys. Oh, it's just bops today. Just bops on bops on bops. Outcast Stankonia. This is another one that I remember buying back in the day. Was this 2000 or something? 2000, yeah. I remember clearly going to Sam Goody and buying this. First of all, okay, B.O.B. That song slaps so hard. You put that song on, you're causing an earthquake. Okay, we already have too many earthquakes here in California. Well, you're about to get another one, bitch. Of course, who doesn't know Miss Jackson? That's in here. That's an iconic song. So fresh, so clean. Oh my God, freaking epic. Those are the singles on here, but this whole freaking album is, like I said, it's a bop. It's a bop and a half. It, I'll give it two bops on this. That's a two bop album. Speaking of two bop album, it's a two, two, two disc set, so motherfucker. You know, I get kind of disappointed when um, it's just like plain, you know, nothing in there, no inserts, no nothing. It's just kind of like, it screams like cash grab to me, but I mean, whatever, you know, whatever it takes to have this on vinyl, we're gonna just have to deal with it, you know what I mean? And can I just say, Andre 3000, like, oh my god, his style, every, I love him, like, his aesthetics are, I, like, I, I wish I could be in the same room as him. Absorb his aesthetic. <laughs> Alright, so now we're on to the portion of more vinyl, except this is something I got sent. And I have to say, first of all, just to clear it up, this is not sponsored. I did not receive any money, any cash, any anything of any kind other than I got this for free. And this is the band box box. Like I said, I didn't get paid to say anything good or bad about this. I can say whatever I want about this. And here we go. So I have some information here and I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm gonna read a little bit about it. So for $49 each month, you get two LPs by the same popular artist, and it's a popular one. It's not like, you know, stuff that didn't sell or didn't hit, so like they're just trying to like get rid of them some kind of way. No, this is like actual popular, like legendary classic artists. And like I said, it's $49 for two LPs. And it comes with the issue of Bandox Magazine, which is a magazine centered around that artist and fan talks. Uh, they have an illustrated track by track listening guide for one of the albums that comes included in your box. I think this is for the people that like to get surprised and don't mind spending a few extra dollars on 
on a surprise basically plus people that like physical media i think would appreciate the fact that it comes with a, a little mini magazine and the track by track uh listening guide and also i want to say that uh, it says here you can connect your discogs account so basically you'll never get anything that that you already have and if for some reason you're not happy with it or you got something that you already had or whatever they do exchanges so until you know until you are happy they they will not rest you can cancel or pause your subscription at any time so you know don't be afraid that they're gonna send you like 100 boxes for the next like 20 years like no and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and open this thing but before i do um just so you know if you're curious about getting your own box i do have a code elizabeth all caps elizabeth um, and you get 50% off so you know definitely if you want to try it definitely go ahead and try it because I mean 50% off is is 50% off so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open it now hell yes okay so I got the Weezer album that's so awesome I actually have this on uh, CD so this is really cool for me and this has uh, of course Buddy Holly Cut at Abbey Road's Mastering Studios. That's cool. So, so on the hype sticker. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh, everything will be all right in the end. What a cover. It's funny how they do all these, uh, like the blue, the green, and all those covers, and then they have they have this. It's so different. Album of the Year by NPR Music, pressed on 180 gram vinyl, free download with purchase. This is their 2014 album. I have not listened to this, so I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Okay, so here's the band docs. I love stuff like this. I just like love it. So here it says it's the Weezer issue. Top songs you won't find on Spotify. Hope you guys can see a little bit of it, but I don't want to bend it. Oh, I love these pictures so much. And here's like some like some of their albums. The one that I remember the most is the Green album. Uh, I just I love the song Hash Pipe so much. Can't wait to read this while I'm listening to the albums. That's like so awesome. Let's see, we got Fan Talks. And this is the listening guide to the Blue album. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. It has like song by song, you know, goes through everything. So that was the band box box. And I just want to thank them for sending me this. And again, you guys can get your own with 50% off using my code. Now we're moving on to the sets. And then they're all the way down here. Okay, so this one I got for my birthday. Dude, that was in January. So my sister Maya got me this for my birthday. Oh, uh, focus, bitch. So yeah, my sister Maya got me this for my birthday and I screeched like a motherfucking eagle when I saw this. This album is everything. Like this is another album that I could listen from beginning to end. We've got We've it going, going on. on. As long as you love, love me, me, I'll never I'll break never your break heart. heart. Quit playing Quit games. games. All I have, All to, I have give. to give. Anywhere, Anywhere for, you. for you. Everybody, Everybody back to back. back. Uh, uh, okay, there's more, but it's probably like songs you guys haven't heard of, but. I being a Backstreet Boys connoisseur, I know all these songs, so. Oh, I love the Backstreet Boys. I was always a Backstreet Boys fan over NSYNC, even though I did like NSYNC, but I had, you know, there was that rivalry back in the day. Even like when you'd watch TRL, like, it was always like, who's gonna be at number one? And it was always like, oh my God, the Backstreet Boys better be number one. The Backstreet Boys did sell more copies of albums than NSYNC, so I'll just, I'll, you know, I'll just let that simmer. Instinct fans. Another classic, absolute classic, Destiny's Child, the writings on the wall. No, I'm not gonna focus. Okay. This album is life. On Instagram one day, I posted a little video of the cassette playing and this album cover. And the amount of like, what had to be probably Generation Z people in my DM saying, why are there four? I could have had, had like, like 10, 10 heart, heart attacks, attacks from, from rage. rage. Like, like they had no clue that there was four members. Like, 
I don't even want to talk about it because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna make my my heart palpitate into levels that is gonna kill me. So I got this off eBay and like I said in the beginning, I like to get my vinyl um, and cassettes at the thrift store. It's just like more fun that way for me. I don't know something about it, like it's just more fun to like look and look and look and want something and then you see it one day. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but something about like just bu buying it, just like oh I want this, I'm gonna like buy it on eBay or whatever. There's no thrill for me in that, but I knew that I was probably never gonna see this. You just don't see this, okay? So that's why I bought this on eBay, and I think I paid like eight dollars for it. On side one, we got bills, 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 bugaboo. Side two, jumpin', jumpin'. Say my name, and there's others, but those are just the hits on here. God bless Destiny's Child for blessing us with writings on the wall. Okay, this next one is from the thrift store and I paid 25 cents for this and it's Cindy Lopper's She's So Unusual and God bless her for being so unusual. It's so refreshing. It's like a glass of lemonade on a August afternoon. This has Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, Time After Time, She Bop. Ooh, she has a song on here called He's So Unusual. That's a twist and a half. But yeah, 25 cents. Can't beat it. This one I also got from eBay. This is Corn, Follow the Leader. I paid like $8 for this or seven dollars for this and it was the cheapest one I could find and it was I think it was because it's the parental advisory sticker is ripped and I don't give a fuck about that so I got it immediately I think I actually I think I got this at, on Discogs well sorry other than the parental advisory sticker the whole motherfucking thing is gonna shatter it out <laughs> this is a classic it just reminds me of high school it's from like 98 or 99 what was it uh 98 and this has the songs Freak on a Leash. You have to know that. And if you don't, please go on Spotify. Go on anything. YouTube, wherever. Just please listen to this song because you have to know it. And if you don't, you will now. Freak on a Leash, Got the Life. Oh, that is a jam. Oh, those were the two hits off of this album. Love the cover. Everything. I just love everything about this. This takes me back. It takes me back to high school. Another eBay purchase. I'm telling you, this one was not very thrift store heavy. But anyway, Mary J. Blige, No More Drama. Oh, this is like a 2001, 2001. Like this album is like, was the word synonymous or whatever. It just reminds me of 9-11 because at the time they were taking songs that people had out or like whatever. And they were like, heavily playing them on like VH1 for like a good like three weeks I want to say TV was not uh, normal they were playing more somber things and uh, like you know VH1 and, and MTV would have vi videos they would play videos remember that <sighs> good times but they would play videos uh, in the mornings and probably at night too but uh, I remember I'd wake up and they would have more, like I said, more appropriate type songs for the time because, you know, the nation was mourning and everything and uh, no more drama was on in that little, like, playlist they had of songs that was for 9-11. So, but yeah, no more dramas on here. I remember uh, it sampled, it, I thought it was cool back then when I heard this, but no more drama, the song sampled, like, the Young and the Restless, which is or was a soap opera. It samples it. Better know your friends or else you will get burned. Yeah, no more drama. Ugh, family affair. Ugh, believe is produced by Dr. Dre. I love that there's a song called PMS on here. I'm about to start playing it in like two days, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, Madonna's like a virgin. I got this at a thrift store, 50 cents, I believe. And I am so close to having like every Madonna studio album ever made. It's in here. 
all the uh, all her albums are in there, but it's from 84, the year of my birth, so this is extra special for me. I'm so happy to add this to the collection. Of course, it has like a virgin material girl. Uh, what else is in here? Dress You Up. Oh, that is a banger. Oh, Dress You Up. If, if you listen to any song, listen to Dress You Up. There we go, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. I have a lot more videos like this. All right, you guys. Peace.